Hello, good morning, and welcome everybody to the UN Global Compact Leaders Summit 2017. I'm your host and MC, Henry Bonsu, also known in Accra as Henry Nana Kwame Ose Bonsu. And I say that with pride, and I'm delighted to see so many wonderful, beautiful, smartly attired people with us here. You could be anywhere in this city. You could be uptown, downtown, you could be at Trump Plaza, but you've decided to be here, and we thank you for it. Now, it's my job to pick up from where that video left off, to keep you informed, entertained, engaged, and looking at this sea of blank faces, I know it's going to be really easy. Oh yes, indeed. So I want to see just how connected you are. Let me give you a little test. Here's a few words. And when I say this word, I want you to repeat it after me. Akwaba. Once more with feeling. Akwaba. Bienvenue. Bienvenido. Hanyong. And Karibu. And again, Karibu sana. What does that mean? Welcome. Do you feel welcome? Do you feel connected? Do you feel engaged? Do you feel represented? Only one or two of you feel represented. Try again. Do you feel represented? Well, I hope so, because there are more than 900 of you with us here today. Sustainability leaders from over 70 countries. 70% 70 of you are from the business community, and we're delighted to see you, including our sponsors, without whom we could not do this at all. Now, quite a number of you are not yet members of the UN Global Compact. So if you're not a member, raise one of your hands. Let's have a look at these people. Raise your hand. <laughs> now, I know there are 44% of you who are not members of the UN Global Compact. I know who you are. Please raise your right hand. We can actually raise the light so we can see these people very well. Those of you who are members, look at them closely, look at their faces, connect with them, and stalk them for the rest of the day. Persuade them of the benefits of being a member of the UN Global Compact. No, no, I'm only joking. You don't have to do that, because we think the day will speak for itself. It's going to be a really action-packed day. Lots happening here on stage and also out there in the wings in the corridor. Now, if you want to connect fully with the day to get the best out of it, we'd encourage you to download the app. How many of you have downloaded the app? How many of you know what an app is? <laughs> What's the hands go down? It means an application. That's what it means, OK? For those of you who haven't yet downloaded it, please do so now. You're alive. You're allowed. And um, you can get Wi-Fi here in this room. The Wi-Fi network is GC Leaders Summit. The password is SDGs, all lowercase. And that's your one-stop shop, this app, to connect with other participants, access the most up-to-the-minute information on the program and the exhibitors, track people down, connect with them, because you told us last year and in previous years what you really enjoy is getting to know people, spreading the wealth, connecting with people, and following up afterwards. So don't say, we don't listen to you. And uh, don't forget to earn points in the leader's game to get the chance to get a UN gift bag at the end of the day. Now, last year we gave you an SDG football or soccer ball. This year it's going to be some, uh, different. So we've got a full schedule ahead of us. Are you ready? Yes. Are you really ready? Once more with feeling. I still don't believe you, but I'm going to plow on nonetheless. So let's get right to it. To kick off the day, I would like to welcome Ms. Lise Kingo, CEO and Executive Director of the United Nations Global Compact, who's going to share the latest insights, including the launch of the Blueprint for Business Leadership on the SDGs and the 2017 Progress Report. Lise, please join us and set the stage for what is to come today. Lise Kingo. Good morning, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the United Nations Global Compact Summit. It's such a pleasure to have you here today, 
and we just cannot wait to present you with all the good stuff that we have been working on since we met last year. So the last year has been an amazing year at the UN and for the Global Compact. It has been our first year with the new Secretary General, Mr. Guterres, who is the chairman of our board. And it has also been the first year with the Deputy Secretary General, Ms. Amina Mohammed, who is the architect of the SDGs. So as you can imagine, we couldn't have better support across the UN uh, than will a Secretary General and a Deputy Secretary General that is so engaged in this entire agenda. Um, so we are celebrating the two-year birthday of the Sustainable Development Goals. So we have taken the opportunity to take stock of how far has the world come with the goals. And to cut a very long story short, there are basically two main challenges that stand out as extremely urgent. One of them is, of course, the climate change agenda. We have been saying a few times that we need to be very diligent, we need to, we have a lot of urgency because there are only 5,000 days left until we should have completed the goals. But I think it's becoming more and more clear that in terms of climate change, we have maybe 1,000 days and we need to really speed up. The other major challenge in terms of the goals is inequality. 50% of the population in the world live from less than $2 a day, and one third of them actually has a job. So decent supply, decent work in the supply chain, gender inequality, youth, employment and education for young people are huge challenges that need to be addressed urgently. And in both challenges, the climate change, the inequality, business has a very important role to play. So we have also taken the opportunity to ask all of you in the UN Global Compact how you are faring on the 10 principles that the initiative is founded on and how you are doing on the SDGs. We had resp response from more than 2,000 companies and some of the most important results that we have seen in this progress report this year is that uh, in terms of human rights and anti-corruption that are very, very important principle for us, we have seen a very nice increase where now more than 90% of our companies have policies and action plans in place. So that's a, a very nice progress. We are also seeing on the SDGs that 75% of our companies are already engaged with the SDGs. And this sample shows big and small companies from across the world. So I think that's very encouraging. And we can see that in 69% of the companies, the CEO is personally engaged in driving the SDG agenda. An area that doesn't come across as so strong is our ability to measure and report on both the principles and on the SDGs, and in particular, it's difficult to report on the impact that the company has in the society based on all the good work that is being done. So I think the picture after the first two years is big challenges, good progress, but still a lot to do. So when we put together the program for today, we thought that we should take a starting point in imagining a world where we are actually solving 
the big challenges that we are facing, where the SDGs are actually coming true. So today we will discuss how can we raise to the challenge? How can we scale solutions? How can we take action in practice and not just launch new programs, but really embed them in what companies are doing? How can we measure impact? And how can we deliver breakthrough innovation? Because this entire agenda is about creating change. We will not make the SDGs business as usual. It has to be done in the business unusual way. So we have a very interesting day ahead of us. So across the world, the UN Global Compact and our more than 70 local networks are very busy working with big and small companies to making global goals local business, to take real action. And we have been thinking about how we could support companies, all of you, even better in pushing forward both the 10 principles and the SDGs. So in the coming months, we will be launching both an academy and a self-assessment navigator that you will be able to take a look at uh, when we have uh, the open session in the middle of the day. We have also launched a set of new action platforms uh, that are capturing what we see as some of the major challenges in the area of the SDGs and the 10 principles. You will see them on screen here. I will not go into detail. I hope you had the opportunity to participate in all the workshops we did yesterday in each of the action platforms. And we will come back a little bit later today, together with GRI, to launch and present you with the first results on the action platform on reporting on the SDGs. Right now, I just want to do one thing, which is to launch the new blueprint for leadership on the SDGs. So um, this is a tool to make sure that we don't address the SDGs only in a superficial way. It's fine that companies pick two or three SDGs, work with them, integrate them into strategy, but I think we have come to the moment now, two years into the SDGs, that now we need to deepen the work and the way we integrate the SDGs in the businesses to make sure that it's built on a principle-based approach. So we are launching the blueprint today. It builds on a methodology where we ask companies to address five different perspectives in dealing with the SDGs is it intentional, accountable, ambitious, collaborative, and consistent? And I want to thank all the companies, all our stakeholders that have been part of developing this new tool. We think it will evolve and develop over time, but it's there now, and I think it means a lot that we now begin to deepen the way we work with the SDGs and do it according to a certain standard. So all the different stuff I have been talking about is on the app, so you can go there and check it all out. And I want to leave you with a quote from Astro Teller that I think captures pretty well what it is we are facing. Leaps of innovation require a bravery that borders on absurdity. Well, this is why the breakthrough innovation theme runs through our entire meeting today. And you simply have to go and listen to the companies that will present during the interactive session today what they have been doing on breakthrough innovation for the SDGs. 
it's action, and it's absolutely great. So um, now I have the big pleasure of uh, inviting uh, the Deputy Secretary General, Amina Mohammed, to just say a few words to us. So please enjoy. Excellencies, distinguished leaders from business and civil society, ladies and gentlemen, and friends, I'm pleased to send greetings to all participants of the UN Global Compact Leaders Summit and congratulate my sister from another mother, Lisa Kingo, for hosting this event. To achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, every government, every person, and every company has a key role to play. We face very challenging times, from rising inequality to violent extremism, from the threats of climate change and the environmental degradation to conflict. Every day, people die due to extreme poverty, yet there is hope. The 2030 Agenda and the Sustainable Development Goals offer us a blueprint for people, planet, peace, prosperity and partnership. To achieve our goals, we need leaders from all of society, including and especially business, to show the courage that helps chart a new course for humankind. Bold leadership is needed, based on the UN Global Compact 10 principles. By committing to doing business responsibly, you are contributing to building the foundation for long-term sustainable growth. I urge you all to challenge your assumptions. Business as usual is not going to get us to our goals. Our rate of progress is uneven and in many areas far slower than we need to achieve the SDGs. I urge you to make long-term investments that will foster inclusive and sustainable development. Measure your impact, turn risks into opportunities by embracing innovative business models and climate smart technologies. Achieving the SDGs also calls for collaboration. And I encourage you to partner with others, including with the United Nations, especially at the country level. The Global Compact local networks have really an important role to play. I'm impressed by the leadership and the commitment that you're showing as active participants of the UN Global Compact and I invite others to join this important initiative. I hope you will leave today's event with the inspiration and the tools you need to help make real transformation happen in people's lives. I wish you a productive meeting and thank you.